And welcome back to Retirement Coffee Talk with Sharice Rivers at Zinnia Wealth. Online, find us at ZinniaWealth.com, Z-I-N-N-I-A, Wealth.com. Every year, U.S. News & World Report puts out a list of the best places to retire. There's 150 cities on this list, mm -hmm. and there are 13 in Florida, and we're all right near the top. It's pretty interesting here. Miami, Tallahassee's number 63, Fort Myers, 57. Uh, in our area, let's see, Ocala's number 26. Yeah, go o Ocala. Orlando is 24. Mm -hmm. uh, the number one on the list is actually Tampa, is number 12 on the list as far as Florida cities are concerned. And they base the list on housing affordability, the price of everyday goods and services. They also talk about health care and the accessibility to that and the quality of health care and things like that. You know what did not come up on this list? What? Taxes. And that should be near the top of the list, Cherise. When it comes to Florida, why do people move to Florida? It's a very tax-friendly state. Right. So that's interesting. I actually thought Ocala would be higher ranked, mm -hmm. but I'm still impressed. We're number 26. Yeah. And that's because we just have an incredible CEP here in Marion County. We're the we're number one chamber in the country this past year. And they are part of economic development and they are so driven to make sure the next time the stock market crashes like it did in 2007 and 8 and 9, that it doesn't hurt us as bad as it did then. So there's such a, a boom and an excitement with companies and businesses. And that's how we got Amazon here and mm -hmm. Chewy's and FedEx. You guys see that our industrial parks are growing. We're getting out Bucky's. Woo -woo. That, that was, is so great. <laughs> I know. I'll be living at Bucky's. Um, and so we're just, we're booming. We're working on roads on I-75 and crossroads. So there's so much money because we have some traffic control problems in certain areas, but we're working on the growth of Ocala and its affordability and its amazing jobs. It's taxes, right? Taxes are very favorable in Florida. There's no income state taxes, right? We're paying federal state taxes and Ocala property taxes are lower than a lot of these other cities. So those are some things to think about. And here's a fun fact. Everybody knows Jeff Bezos is moving to Florida, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's got a new fiance in Florida. And he also has a company called in Florida called Blue Origin. And he's looking at other companies to open. But Jeff Bezos wants to sell a billion dollars of the Amazon stock out there. And Washington State, where he lived created this new capital gains tax to add on to all the other painful taxes they have up there of 7%. If your income is over $250,000 on any growth in your portfolio. So he would have paid on that $1 billion in selling his Amazon stock, $70 million. But moving to Florida now where he's registered to live, selling that billion dollars in Amazon stock, he doesn't pay that extra 70 million. And if he plans to sell these Amazon stocks $1 billion a year for the next 10 years, he has saved $700 million in taxes. So wow. people are moving to Florida in companies because all these other states are impacting growth by adding these the, these extra tax barriers. And they're like, I'm out of here. I'm going to go somewhere who's not going to charge me, you know, those types of extra fees. And so Florida has an amazing economic growth uh, potential. So we, we will continue to grow because of that. And there's other states out there that are very favorable in that area too, like Texas, et cetera. So that's pretty exciting news. Um, that Florida is the to-go place to save on some of those sales of our stocks. And some of you might be wondering, well, why is he selling that much? Well, I don't know. The stock market's a little eh. having its heydays. Maybe he's trying to capitalize, right? You're going to retire. <laughs> you want a little spending cash, you know. And for him, that's a lot of spending <laughs> cash, I guess. I don't know. But overall, I mean, you wonder why so many people come down to Florida. And it's not all about the weather. It, it certainly is about the weather and the quality of living and things like that. But the tax base here and the tax laws here are certainly much better than other areas of the country, which is something to think about. If other people are moving here for taxes, if you aren't thinking about taxes when it comes to your retirement plan, you should be. So that's certainly a part of everything that we do here at Zinnia Wealth. Give us a look on our website. Let's sit down and talk about your retirement. I know that right now your mind is all about holidays and Christmas and shopping and spending. 
But when the, the calendar turns, when we go to 2024, you're going to start thinking about taxes. You're going to start thinking about your finances. Okay, maybe maybe we don't get that appointment in before the end of the year, but let's go ahead and make an appointment in January. Let's get a date on a calendar and sit down and say, okay, I know that I'm going to retire in the next three to five years. I know I'm going to retire. I got a date in my mind. Let's start doing the math on it right now. Thanks for listening to the Retirement Coffee Talk podcast. If you have questions or would like to begin the process of building a tailored retirement plan, call Zinnia Wealth at 803-368-3680 or find us online at ZinniaWealth.com. Sharice Rivers is an investment advisor representative of Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC, a registered investment advisor. Exposure to ideas and financial vehicles discussed should not be considered investment advice or recommendation to buy or sell any financial vehicle. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Investments can fluctuate and when redeemed may be worth more or less than when originally invested. Financial professionals are not licensed in all 50 states. To find out if Sharice Rivers is licensed in your state, please contact their office. Zinnia Wealth Advisory, LLC is not affiliated with nor endorsed by the Social Security Administration or any other government agency and does not provide legal or tax advice. Annuity guarantees rely solely on the financial strength and claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Any client experiences discussed during this show are unique to that client. They are not meant to imply or suggest you will experience the same results. By contacting us, you may be provided with information about insurance and annuity products offered through Sharice Rivers, NPN Insurance License Number 8718011.